God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, welcome you to this live to this broadcast from the Bishop Desk. I'm George Bishop George W. Reese Jr. And uh it's just a good day in the Lord. And on behalf of my pat uh, my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, and all the family of this Rock Christian Tabernacle, we just speak God's blessing on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of raspy this morning, this uh, air. You know how it is. This is live and this is real. And so this is how it is every day because uh, we don't know what every day is going to bring for us, but it's nothing wrong with planning uh, something, uh, you know, for us to do. And, and because without a plan, it's hard to get success and to go forth, you know. And, uh, and this old homespun, homespun wisdom says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. In other words, if you just walk around and just don't think about anything and think that you're going somewhere, you won't. Because every uh, business that has uh, a wealth and going forth and a prosperity, they have a plan. And even when business owners uh, start to start a business, they must have a business plan in order for uh, uh, success. And in your life, you need to plan things for you to do every day and even for the future. Uh, you won't find it that way in the Bible about you have to plan everything, but you find many stories of uh, effective planning and purpose. The God, and the Bible teaches us this thing, that God has purpose and planning in his provision for us. And his purpose is to draw all humanity to himself in order to forgive and redeem the, you know, his creation life. He wants you back in his plan, how to get his purpose going forth. He has this plan and it's from creation, you know, it's from, to the law and to the prophets. <coughs> Excuse me. It's to Jesus and the church is to send his son to die for our sin, take our punishment upon himself and be raised from the dead so that we can be rescued from eternal death to eternal life. That's what God has planned for his creation. Are you part of that plan? You know, and the plans we make won't be as quiet as what? <coughs> Excuse me. It's quite as dramatic <laughs> as what God has for us in our life, you know, but the parts of our life, you know, we need to plan. The big question is, will we ever consult his perfect and his eternal plan? Will we go to the plan of God and look what he has to say for us? And in Genesis 45 and 5, this here is talking about Joseph. He said, don't be angry with yourself for selling me to this place. It was God who sent me here and hid you to preserve your lives. And this was talking about when he got sold by his brothers to those traitors. And he ended up in Egypt and he became the second under Pharaoh. And, and through that, he was able to... Uh, Preserve his family. See, things that God has in store for us is as part of his plan is for us to be successful in Christ to the savings of people life and even our family. See, God used the unjust way Joseph's own brother treated him to fulfill his future plan. His future plan was for Israel to keep going forth and sometimes uh, they don't look you know so wholesome and goody to you and I look with the way we view things but it's still part of God's plan and sometimes we have to go through some suffering we have to go through some disappointment but it's all about fulfilling the plan that God has for you and then uh, in 1 Corinthians 2 and 7 he says the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God, his plan that was previously hidden 
even though he made it our ultimate glory before the world began. And see, we're talking about God's plan of redemption was established even before creation itself. God has plans for you. And his plan is for everyone to be redeemed, to be saved from their sins. And through that, they can have fellowship with God. But the only way they can do that, do that is accepting Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. That's God's plan for our uh, eternal existence. And to be with him is to receive his son, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to ask you on today, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? That's the plan of God, is for everyone to be saved. But you have to make that personal choice and decision. So God bless you on today. And I hope that you have made that decision to make Jesus Christ first in your life. God bless you. We love you. See you next time.